Hi there, this is Dominic Crochet here, Vice President of Training for Vaughan College. I'm here standing in front of the Aviation Training Institute, inviting you in for a small tour of our facility. Upon entering the building, students are welcomed by security staff uh, and a area, gaming pool tables, Xbox machines, foosball tables, a variety of vending uh, machines for student comfort and some areas that uh, guys could just hang out with your fellow classmates. Our classrooms here at the ATI building are both modern and efficient and they're very comfortable allowing uh, uh, the students to, to gain all the necessary um, lecture requirements and, and any of the aviation classes. Some examples of the subject matter that you might learn here are uh, basic uh, drawing uh, or, or drafting class, where you learn how to make uh, sketches of repairs and alterations, read blueprints, uh, learn to read schematics. You might do mathematics type classes in this environment, where you learn about uh, basic arithmetic, uh, and algebraic equations, uh, uh, review some of the uh, basic physics uh, uh, like mass, uh, matter, uh, weight, and force, and density, and pressures, and gas laws, and uh, theories of flight. Uh, these classrooms are equipped with, uh, with modern uh, technologies allowing instructors to, to use their whiteboards or smart boards that are tied into our uh, e-stations. Now we're in our hydraulics and pneumatic and our landing gear lab. In here we'll learn about flow control valves, hydraulic and pneumatic pumps, uh, different type of hydraulic fluids that are used. Uh, you'll uh, inspect, uh, check, service, troubleshoot various hydraulic uh, uh, and pneumatic and power systems. Uh, we'll go over a lot of hydraulics components. Um, uh, right here, you'll you'll let you'll get to learn about uh, various type of landing gear systems used in today's aircraft. A lot of work about brakes and servicing uh, tires and struts on, on aircraft. You'll learn about uh, independent brake systems. You'll learn about uh, um, regular uh, master cylinders, how to uh, to uh, bleed brakes, gravity feed. You'll learn about anti-skid systems on modern aircraft. Um, you'll, uh, you'll also do uh, a lot of uh, warning system checking uh, on these electrical brake controls and anti-skids uh, systems. There's a whole lot of inspection and troubleshooting and uh, learning how to service uh, uh, components that are part of uh, an aircraft braking system. So the room we're in now is our aircraft avionics system and our aircraft systems laboratory. Uh, this, the intent of these rooms are to have students go over subject matter such as uh, uh, aircraft instrument systems. Uh, they'll learn all about instruments and communication and navigation systems, uh, learn about how autopilots uh, work, uh, doing mock-ups on them and, and working on, on actual systems um, they'll also get into heavy communication and navigation work here, and tenor uh, and electronic instrument uh, installations and inspections and repair uh, in, this, uh, in this laboratory. They'll also work on aircraft systems like cabin uh, atmosphere control systems, uh, where they'll uh, check, inspect, troubleshoot, and repair oxygen systems and fuel systems on, on aircraft. They'll get into ice and rain, uh, protection, and they'll get into uh, fire protection as well. Now, the classroom we're here now in is our uh, aircraft electrical systems laboratory. Here students will get the uh, hands-on skills required to work on more complex aircraft electrical uh, systems and components. Uh, they'll get into the, both the troubleshooting and repair of those systems and, uh, and uh, parts. Uh, they'll get into uh, DC electrical systems, system tracing. Um, they'll get into uh, 
uh, generators and AC uh, voltage regulation devices uh, where they'll uh, learn to inspect and repair those devices. And they'll spend a lot of time working on uh, ignition system components on uh, more general aviation aircraft, uh, uh, aircraft ignition harness systems and uh, magnetos. Okay, now we've entered into our propeller systems power plant laboratory. And here students will learn a whole host of, uh, of items, really covering a lot of propeller information. We'll go over lubricating systems, types of lubricants used. We'll learn about uh, um, induction systems and airflow systems on, on aircraft engines, um, engine cooling systems. Uh, here you'll, uh, you'll get into system traces and troubleshooting of uh, exhaust systems, uh, reverser systems, plus reverser systems will be covered here. Uh, you'll learn a whole bunch about fixed pitch propellers, catalytic propellers, hydromatic propellers, how to install, how to troubleshoot uh, propeller systems. Uh, the classroom evolves, uh, also working in uh, carburation systems, fuel systems, where we'll talk about fuel immediately, uh, about direct uh, or uh, um, RS type injection systems, a lot of different fuel uh, engine uh, uh, fuel components are covered here, uh, covering uh, basic float, float type carburetors and more advanced type uh, fuel metering systems as well. Okay, this uh, is our grinding room in our uh, composites laboratory. Uh, it's outfitted with uh, a variety of cutting and grinding uh, tools such as uh, explosion proof downdraft tables. Uh, in this room, students uh, are working to construct hot bond, carbon graphite, hun honeycomb sandwich structures. They work with uh, different matrix systems. Uh, they work uh, in, uh, in the fiberglass arena here. Uh, they get to, uh, to uh, learn to construct, to build, uh, to troubleshoot these, uh, these aircraft systems. Uh, these structural systems, and they'll learn to uh, to use some some pretty fancy uh, tools here to to, uh, to to build them. So there's a, a good large area here that the students use to uh, to set these up, and they they work in the wet layups, and and they do a lot of time with uh, hot bonding uh, structures to learn. So we have a an array of hot bonding machines here. Uh, students are, are uh, you know, taught on how to use uh, very, very common type of uh, sophisticated uh, equipment uh, to, uh, to make uh, repairs, structural repairs on, uh, you know, uh, on composite materials that many aircraft uh, are, are a large a majority of uh, the components on aircraft these days are, are composite. So right here is uh, where you'll get some of that instruction. Here, uh, students are introduced to reciprocating engine technologies. They'll learn about pistons, cylinders, rods, uh, valves, camshafts, crankshafts. Uh, they'll come out of here with a complete understanding of a theory of operation of, uh, of reciprocating engine types, including radial engines. Uh, it's a really neat lab. Here our students are uh, broken up into groups of six. Uh, they're assigned a crew chief, uh, one of their own. Uh, the group is assigned to completely dismantle the engine. They take it apart. They do measurements here. They'll do uh, many inspections in this lab. Um, and in some cases, even learn to do repairing of, of certain parts of those engines. Uh, they'll put the engines back together uh, under the supervision of their instructors and that they are closely working with in this environment. They spend roughly uh, 90 hours here, not only practicing and honing their manipulative skills, but gaining experience uh, as working in teams. I'm now entering our metal working laboratories. Uh, this room here is our materials and processes room where uh, students are uh, 
are uh, trained in uh, basic hand tool use. Uh, uh, they're trained in uh, measurement, precision uh, measurement uh, systems here. They're trained in uh, safety wiring in this room. Uh, they're uh, introduced to, uh, to turn buckles in this room and how to do alignments here. Uh, a lot of time spent on fabricating hoses um, and tubing. Uh, this is our uh, sheet metal uh, laboratory. In this room, we, uh, we train to, to cut, to bend, to drill, to fabricate, to repair, all sorts of sheet metal structures on airplanes. Um, students are, are uh, taught surface patches, flush patches. They're taught how to uh, rivet, uh, blind rivet, uh, a, a whole variety of applications, really everything you need to, to, uh, to understand to get started in a career as an aircraft maintenance technician. All right, we're now in our non-destructive uh, testing and basic electricity lab. In this area, uh, many students will cover all aspects of AC and DC electricity complex, uh, concepts, uh, familiarize themselves with series and complex and parallel circuits. Um, they'll uh, learn to read and interpret aircraft diagrams. Uh, they'll, uh, they'll learn to understand uh, the relationship between voltage uh, and current and uh, resistance. Uh, they'll learn how to use power supplies and multimeters. Uh, they'll, uh, they'll even uh, get to service batteries in this area. They'll uh, calculate and measure all sorts of electrical power. Uh, they'll cover capacitance and inductance. Uh, this room, we also do a lot of NDT. Uh, as you probably see, I'm walking by. Um, a lot of NDT, non-destructive testing and inspection. Uh, we'll do dye penetrant inspections here, magnaflux inspections. We'll cover ground operations and servicing in this room. Uh, we'll do a lot of work uh, with maintenance forms and publications. Uh, we'll uh, uh, learn to, uh, to read uh, data, service bulletins, uh, advisory circulars, uh, um, a lot of information that both the manufacturers and the FAA provide to us. Uh, this is where you'll also learn uh, to begin the process of correctly writing logbook entries. This year, the Aviation Training Institute at Vaughan College has invested in our students' success by purchasing a variety of training tools from Snap-on uh, that are designed to, uh, to really lift uh, the level of capabilities of a maintenance technician. Uh, these uh, include uh, training and structural sheet metal repair, uh, torque uh, repair, uh, multimeter certifications, and uh, electrical termination um, uh, certifications. So when a student goes through this program, and this is really on top of their regular A and P uh, uh, work, um, the the students are going to gain uh, an amazing expertise. And the the real plan is to have a student learn about multimeters before they even touch their regulated FAA uh, electricity class. The students will learn about torquing before they start their class where they would normally learn torquing. Uh, the students are going to learn about how to do sheet metal before they set foot into their sheet metal class. So when they're in those classes, their level of expertise on the subject matter is going to be uh, lifted to, a, to a, a, a very, very desirable stance. So when it comes time for you to do orals and practicals with the FAA, it's just one more way that you're going to be ahead of the game as a student here at Vaughan College. Good afternoon. We are currently on the main campus 
are in the hangar area and we're walking into the PP61, which is the turbine engine maintenance class. Here the uh, students take the engines apart, do the various inspections, measurements, and adjusting, and reinstall all components to the engines per the maintenance manuals. Uh, learn all various types of parts on different types of turbine engines, how they work, how they go back together, and what inspections are required. We are now walking into the hangar area where our aircraft are staged uh, all different types. We have 15 different types of aircraft. Uh, the aircraft are moved in and out of the hangar as needed. And various classes are performed in this hangar area. The main class performed is PO60, which is the power plant's maintenance operations, which is uh, all the work required to do on the reciprocating engines. That includes uh, dropping the engine, installing the engine, uh, doing compression checks, magneto timing, all various inspections on the airframe also, uh, component removals, prop removals, reinstallations, uh, and all the various types of inspections we do on rigging and alignment on the aircraft. Uh, the aircraft are moved in and out of the hangar on a daily basis, uh, depending on the requirements for whatever class is in motion is taking place. Here is our flight line. Uh, we are, again, we have various turbine engines, reciprocating engines. Uh, these are the aircraft we use for various classes, including in uh, general airframe and power plant courses. Uh, could be moving tires, brakes, flaps, rudders, reinstallation, inspections, and we also accomplish the engine runs that are required per the curriculum. Here are our test cells where the same type engines that are taken apart and inspected, uh, they come in with the crews will come in, the students will come in and do the various engine runs on not only uh, turbine engines but also reciprocating engines in the test cell and on the aircraft itself. That's the Cessna 182 where all the all the PO60 engine run requirements are accomplished.